This question says, compared to problem 69, the wavelength of an electron from rest across a 10,000 potential difference would be A, B, C, D, or E times as long. So I went ahead and left the work from question 69. If you didn't do question 69, it wouldn't make much sense to be able to do this question. So I'm assuming you did it first. Um, so this is what we found in question 69. So in 69, we had V is equal to a, 100 volts. And using the fact that the kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy, which is this, we're able to find this. And then using the speed, we find the wavelength. So what you notice is that the wavelength is inversely proportional to the speed V. And the speed V is equal to the square root of the potential V. So if we have a new potential, V prime, which is equal to 10 times V, or excuse me, 100 times, since V prime is equal to 10,000 volts and V is equal to 100 volts, what we can find here is that the wavelength, lambda prime, is going to be proportional to uh, 1 over the square root of prime. Okay. Right? Well, comparing lambda prime to lambda, so we lambda prime over lambda, everything is cancel except for um, the 100 value. So this is going to be equal to by the square root of 100 because it's 100 times greater than um, than v. v prime is 100 times greater than v, and they're proportional to the square root. So this is going to be equal to 1 over the square root of 100 equal to 0 upon, and that is the answer. If you go back and look, it's the answer d. So D is our, and we can box that in.